What is going on? So we got our mini account, Mrs. Chowder, up to rank 20, finally. We've been crushing the 18s and 17s. Had one loss by eight seconds, it looks like. And 214, had a pretty fast one there. A couple shutdowns. 236, another shutdown, 239, 224, let's just go ahead and watch a couple of these, so this player obviously is not maxed out, so that's going to make things a little bit easier, Just I love doing this split, where you take out two sides or three sides all at once, it's just a whole lot faster than trying to follow all right here. And did lose a couple Zookas on that one, but we really smacked them around pretty good. <laughs> uh, we do have the Rocket Launchers, the Shock Blaster. Uh, here's a 232, which, I mean, come on. <laughs> bullet and three choppers two heavy choppers up top two rocket choppers choppers uh barted out that far right one then shock the world flare over take out the sky shield shock again and <laughs> flare then we had this defeat uh this base is a little bit different, a little nasty. Lots of cannons, boom cannons up front. Can't really uh, spread like I wanted it to. Still got up there. Uh, this right side, I wanted to take out those rockets. And unfortunately, we all went to the top. And the boom cannon. That dirty boom cannon. <laughs> Slowed us down at least seven seconds. But we came right back with a 214. Another maxed out base looks like. But I only see one doom cannon. And it is cold, cold right now in Texas. I got the heat going full blast, and I am shivering. We're somewhere in like 20 degrees right now. Had to work through all this. Uh, a lot of walking through the snow, pushing people out of cars. Or at, pushing cars out of the road to get stuck. Got that one smacked down. Then we had a, a failed attempt. A lot of players are trying to run... Uh, Seekers. They're trying to run Seekers on us. And it's just not working. Now that Doom Cannon picked off a chopper. Unfortunately. We had to shock that cannon. Or it, Well, it, we would have. If it had taken us out. We were able to get this one with some artillery. I was saving up my GBE. I wanted to flare up, but I knew they wouldn't make it in time. So I saved that last gasp for an artillery. Then we had another shutdown. This base was a little bit different. I thought about doing these clump bases too. We just drop everything and take out that far right one. It's just a little too easy. Too easy, boss. Uh, still haven't lost a chopper yet. Couple more artillery. The best way is to just keep those choppers alive. Not the heavy, but the uh, rocket choppers. You have to leave those alive. <clears throat> you have to know when to shock, when to drop an extra artillery. And this one with the sky shield. Uh... 
I wanted to avoid that sky shield as much as possible. Shock flare, shock flare, reflare. Lost a chopper. No? Almost lost a chopper. But we were able to artillery that one. Keep your eyes on this engine room top left. A lot of GBE collected right here. And you shock and reflare so that we stay on that right side. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. I don't think he had the building health yet. That's why that was so easy. I didn't even notice when I started the attack. That was why it was so fast. We just uh, were able to do a ton of damage in a short amount of time. And then we've got a perfect split here. Those heavies stepped on a mine, it looked like. Shock mine. And didn't have to... worry about our rocket choppers getting attacked by that cannon because the uh, heavies were right there to distract and by the time they retargeted now this is a seeker base all day long you know they're going to go for that one up here up here over so I'm pretty sure that's what we did we got a little Gunboat energy collected right there at the beginning. Take out that first shock launcher because it's going to interfere with this engine room, that engine room, and that engine room, and that engine room. <laughs> so we got that going. Got to clear mines. Boom. Now that we got that cleared, we know we can flare up. Uh, hitting the taunt. Just in time. Did run out. A little bit late on that artillery. And we started losing choppers. Took out that shock mine. Hit the taunt. Drop a shock. On the shock launcher. And flare the last one. Cycle that shock. Finish with the artillery. <laughs> so yeah, it, I love checking the bases out beforehand and knowing which troops to send out for the fastest attack. That was a 239. We had a 256 earlier. And this one, I think this is the same strategy. You want to flare that shock launcher. And then... And then... Flare up. Clear the mines. Starting to lose a bunch of these seekers. And then the choppers went down and stepped on a shock. And boom. We finally got into 20. We went... Early on with this base, we got everything. We got the choppers. We got the uh, RLs and shock blaster before moving up. So on Chowderhead, we've got the gunboat energy. We got the second doom cannon. And now we've got shock blaster in the tier 4 RLs so I've still got to get critters the second doom cannon the gunboat energy I might try to do without but that's all for now uh, thanks for watching guys chowderhead out